Okay, I am almost ready. <laughs> I'm not quite with it today. I've had, we've had a bit of crappy news in the family. Like my stepdad may have suffered a mini stroke. So I'm a bit, oh God. And I've not been feeling myself for the past few days. That's just hormonal troubles. But, uh, you know, life gets to you sometimes and it has got to us all today and yesterday and blah, blah, blah. I'm fine. I'm just getting on with things. And, you know, don't worry about me. <laughs> but uh, it just puts you uh, in a different headspace, you know, when you worry about people and you worry about yourself. And really, I'm okay. And we're all okay. And my pops is okay, but he's um, just suffering with his speech a bit, but he's still doing his crossword and he wants to keep going to work. He's, he doesn't work, he just uh, fixes and builds things for people in the local area. He's in his 70s, so he's, you know, he's proud. He wants to continue doing what he's doing. So he's still, he's fine, but his speech is a bit um, strange, but I've not seen him yet. So anyway, it's just, it's just stressful. Right then. So let's pour the lye into the oils. I've chosen two, was it two? Yeah, two more colours. I'm gonna use some jungle green and some blue green, which I've used before, which went back to the soap colour. But I thought, we'll give it a go because it could just be the fragrance that made that happen. Who knows? So I've got four colours and then this is my base. So, stick blend this. Okay, so I'm soaping quite cold. So my mixture was a little bit funny then. You have to just, uh, sometimes it looks like it's curdling, so you just got to make sure that you stick blend, stick blend, stick blend until it gets to where you want it. And mine's there now, so I'm going to add my fragrance, which I need to weigh. Okay, so I'm going to put it in now. with strong cherry notes. It's really, really nice. Okay, I don't want to stick them too much because I want this to remain kind of fluid. So I'm going to pour some off of my colours then. I only want little bits because I don't want be over the top swirls. I just want a few bits and pieces just to cross the soap. So just that much, like a quarter of a jug or whatever. And we'll stick blend those to incorporate the colours. Put in that white because that'll cause me grief otherwise. Okay, put that to the side a moment. I'm just going to get my purple in. So I'd say we need about one, two, three big heaped teaspoons of that. Okay, so I'm going to get to pouring. Make sure you can see. Okay. Now the white is thickened, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. Let's just get this deep purple in. God, that's a nice colour. Just hope it stays that way. Sometimes they go a bit greyish brownish and then they come back. So I've done this colour before with uh, Blackcurrant Dams and Frangipan, which is another soap I need to make again, but I've out of some of the fragrance. So. It usually goes brown and it comes back to purple, so it can be a bit odd. Like you, Mr. White, what have you done? I'm just going to have to dollop that in. Hope for the best. Because it's gone too thick. Just 
start pouring the green around there. And my cherry red around there. And then my green blue there. Just like a fancy wallpaper colour. Get some more of that white. Wish this wouldn't happen with white. It always seems to be an issue I'm using titanium dioxide. I should have done it at the end. I was going to buy some white mica, but I'm not really sure how good it is, you know, how white it gets. Can anybody tell me? Because I've not really seen anybody use it. I only watch a few soap makers on YouTube and I've never really seen anyone use a white mica before, so I don't know. Let me know if it's any good. I don't want to waste my money when I'm doing my mica order. I've got to make one soon, so let me know as soon as you can, if you will, please. White mica, does it work? Is it white, white, white? Let's see if I can actually get a swirl out of it. Might be able to do a bit. Might, the white might not break up very well, but we'll see. Okay, let's get the top done. I so, so hope that purple stays purple because that is a gorgeous, deep, rich, royal purple colour. Really nice. And it's called Dark Purple Number 40A by Mineral Makeup Ingredients, in case you need to know. And they're an EU based supplier. I think they're in the UK. Now they do charge over the odds for postage. In the UK they charge 10 quid an order which I think is stupid because it doesn't cost that much to send in this country. It doesn't cost 10 pounds. So I don't like companies that do that with their uh, postage costs. It's ridiculous. You know a few bags of mica and I'm only ever buying sort of like 25 grams at a time and I usually buy five or six at a time and they want to charge £10 delivery so I usually end up going somewhere else like Mica Mama's really good so I've been going to her and she delivers really fast and she only charges £3.50 per order so you know okay so I need a chopstick which I have here I think I'm just going to do a figure of eight swirl I don't really want to do too much to this because it's such a pretty pretty colour but it doesn't need to do much or it doesn't need much doing to it I mean it's so pretty there we go I'm going to leave it like that and I'm not going to touch it so there's my quick soap batch made today happy with that. I'll take some pictures so you can see that and then I'll be back for the cut tomorrow and we'll see what that swirl came out like, if it came out at all. Okay, I'm going to cut my soup. I've just done an Instagram live feed so I'm kind of uh, trying to remember where I left off yesterday because I've just done a different video. Okay, so let's get this unmoulded. I think where I dropped that white, it has managed to get down to the bottom a bit and I can see where my swirling tool has gone through it. So hopefully we've got some nice swirls in here. In here. Just get the hard bits off the sides. 
and that purple did kind of go a bit greyish so that's not my favourite thing I reckon it's just the uh, reaction to the lye I don't think it's the fragrance I think it's the lye that makes it go like a funny brownish colour so never mind it's still kind of purplish but it's a purplish greyish kind of colour So not quite uh, cherry and you know it'll still be pretty though you never know what your butterfly swirl comes out like until you chop the bars because this is around the wrong way to see what it's actually going to be like Bridie with me today. She's in the window and she's grumpy because she doesn't like to come to work but she's had to because I have deliveries today so when I've got deliveries in the morning we usually have a nice walk out and then I take her home at lunchtime which is coming up in about half an hour I should take her back home eat my lunch and then I come back and I've got orders to do this afternoon plus another batch of soap I expect. So I'm going to get a closer shot of this on my camera and then I'll be back to do the chopping of the bars. So they're down there, look. Okay, so let's get a few bars done. I'll just do a few just so you can see what it came out like. Won't do the lot. Let's get the end off. Okay, nothing so far, really. Come on, butterflies, you've got to be in there somewhere. Mm. <laughs> We're going to have a few bits like that, I think, because of that white just having to be slopped in there. I couldn't really get a chopstick through it, so... Okay, it's not the best. It's not the best, but it's not the worst bar. This is really dark. I wonder if it's going to change it all. I don't think it is. So it's not the vibrancy isn't quite there. We'll see uh, what they're like. I'll take some pictures at, for the end because I shall be planing these off and trimming all the edges. But yeah, it's like um, weird really. It's very muted compared to what it was like when I was mixing those colours up. There's patches of where it's there's probably little globules of mica which didn't disperse and then you can really see that purple but oh never mind not as pretty as I wanted I've seen worse bars <laughs> I think that it's always so exciting to cut your soap the next day it's it just never ever isn't exciting it's always exciting but when it's not quite what you wanted then you're like hmm Okay, we better do some more then. It keeps you on your toes and makes you want to make more and more and more. So, that's what I'll be doing. Ooh, now that came out nice. See, now that there, the bottom, is that blue-green. So it has gone back to soap colour again. So don't buy blue-green from Minimal Makeup Ingredients if you want it to stick in soap. It's not going to. It goes back to soap colour. It's a lovely colour in the uh, container, but it isn't, um, yeah, it's gone back to a funny, kind of like a mossy greenish kind of khaki colour. Never mind. I wish they put notes on their website. The thing that they don't do is tests, whereas I use Mica Mama, I just found her recently, she's on Instagram, and, um, she does, she tests all the micas in soap so that you've got a really good indication of what they're going to do and it's really important for soap makers to know these things so thankfully there is a supplier out there that does uh, care. That red's nice. That's a good red. I shall continue and trim all those up and I'll leave you pictures at the end and I'll be back for the next video. See ya!